In today's video, we're going to take a look at the difference between local and global variables, when and where you can actually access them. Some people have issues understanding why certain uh, source codes don't actually work, uh, even though they have seemingly defined the proper variables for them to work. So let's dive straight in. Uh, let's say here we have a simple function that doesn't return anything. All it does is declare an x. So I have here an int x equals, let's say 15. And all I do is print it on the screen. So let's say printf, let's say percent d backslash n x. Let's say value of x is that. And then I can just call it on the main function, right? So this should work. If I launch this, I'm gonna get value of x is 15. Nice, that's what we expect. Now the question is, what if instead we want uh, a different function to actually printf uh, this value of x? If I have, let's say here, void g1, right? And in here, all we do is just print the value of x. And so that it is being used, of course, I'm going to call it. So I'm gonna call g1 inside of f1. So uh, seemingly this, this is logical, right? We we define the variable x to be 15, and then we call g1, right? And uh, then we print f the value of x, of course, because x has been defined already. But as you might notice, if I try to build this, I'm gonna get an error. And that error is really because x is not declared inside the g1 function. So each variable actually uh, can be accessed based on the scope they are used. And every single function defines its own scope. And there's also a global scope that encompasses the whole program. Um, you can think of scopes as sort of boxes in which you put these, uh, these variables, right? And the higher level the box is, the more accessible it is. So uh, here, this function f1 defines a scope by really opening and closing brackets. And in here I have defined the x variable, okay? But in the g1 function, in its scope, it doesn't have any x variable defined. It's only defined in f1. And even though we are calling g1 inside the f1 function, it doesn't mean that it uh, has access to its scope. Uh, so in that sense, these two functions scopes are actually sort of siblings, right? They are part of the bigger scope, which is the global scope, the whole program, but they are just siblings, uh, not that every single scope is included into another, okay? So they are totally separate. So when you're defining here an x variable inside one of the functions, you're not gonna have access to the on the other one to that function. You're gonna have to well, define another function or pass it as parameter. But to solve this issue so that this code actually runs and works the way we intend it to, right? We can define our X variable as being in the global scope. If it is in the global scope, it's outside of any function, then it is accessible in all the functions on that compilation unit. So we can do that by simply defining it outside of the function, we can say int X, and now the key part is to not define another x inside f1, but just set its value to 15, okay? And then calling here uh, g1 that prints the value of x. Now, if I try to launch this, I'm gonna get the value of x is 15. I'm getting here a simple warning that g1 is not defined. That's because I have to define g1 before using it, but that's not really a problem. Now the warning is gone if I do that. Anyway, another thing to note here is that if I let this int specifier inside this f1 function, I would be defining another variable called exactly the same, but in a local environment and setting that to 15. So both the global scope and this function would have a variable named x, but of course f1 wouldn't be able to access this global variable because whenever I type in x equals something, it's going to look into this local x, not the global one. In that case, if I launch this code, I will just be getting 
uh, the value of x is zero because most of the time global variables are going to be initialized automatically with zero by the way uh, that's not the case for local variables now there could be multiple scopes inside the same function uh, how you ask well that's actually very simple if let's say for example i have uh, an if here and I test something I don't know what exactly let's say int y equals 5 and let's say I test that if y is 5 I declare here x to be I don't know 10 okay and then if it's not I'm gonna declare it 15 that's all I'm gonna do and inside this f1 function I'm gonna still print everything so that x is defined locally right and we're not gonna care about this g1 function anymore. And this is all the code we have. If we take a look, it makes sense, right? We have here uh, the f1 function is checking whether y is five, and if it is, it's gonna define x as being 10, otherwise we're gonna define x as being 15. So we shouldn't have any issues, right? If we try to launch this, or even just compile it, we are gonna get an error. And that error says that x is undefined in this scope so again as i said scopes are sort of boxes that are put inside other boxes and that are inside other boxes so in this sense here we have actually three scopes with just this f1 function we have the uh, functions scope the whole function then we have this scope the if scope and the else scope and since these are all uh, the variables defined in those scopes only inside those scopes you're going to be able to actually access them right so even though it might seem logical that oh, okay we have defined x as either being 10 or 15 but you didn't define it in the right uh, scope and because of that uh, the code doesn't work and in fact these two x variables are actually different variables altogether even though they do have the same name their address and their value as well in this case is different so if you want to do something like this you're going to have to define x at the functions scope so i'm going to have to see to say here int x and only set its value inside if and else uh, inside the if and else blocks now if i try to launch this everything is going to work and I'm going to get, well, value of x is 10. Well, it's 10 because y is 5. That's not really a problem, but we do get a result. We don't get a uh, compilation error. And of course, we could also have defined x as being global. So if I move it here in the global scope, this would also work. But then x would be also accessible for all the functions in the same compilation unit, in the same c file all right that's it for today i hope you got something out of this video if you do have any questions leave them down comments below or on our discord server again the source code can be found on our website link in the description below take care bye